Hello everybody, welcome back to this tutorial video series and welcome back to all the hopefully cake beat cake fest uh, attendees. Um, just wanted to mention that all the videos are online in our cake PHP YouTube channel so you can definitely check out all those videos from the cake fest if you haven't already um, but yeah let's continue on with what we are trying to do in this video today because this video is about fetching and retrieving associated data for our models so if we jump back to all the videos uh, which are already present in this tutorial series we have basically these three main models here with the categories the blog posts and the meta fields i just cleaned up a little bit of its content and just wanted to show you a little bit what is currently present so we have three categories where cake versus pie has two blog posts inside it the pineapple on pizza doesn't have any blog posts inside it and the useful plugins only has uh, one blog post inside it and the only blog post which currently has meta fields is the cake php 4.5 release um, but currently what we are trying to achieve now is inside of our cake versus pie category we have our cake 4.5 release blog post and we want to show the meta fields inside this template but currently if we look into our code base so if we go into templates categories view um, we are trying to go through all the blog posts inside our category and inside of our blog posts all the available meta fields inside them but as you can see here we are trying to output the meta key and the meta value of the field but nothing is being printed out in the template why is that well by default cake bhp doesn't do any um, lazy loading in that regard uh, for any associated uh, fields or associated models in that uh, in that sense so you have to specify which data should be fetched for each template or for each controller method so if we go into our source controller categories controller inside the view action we see that we fetch our category id which in our case is just the id one and then we say okay also contain the blog post data associated to this entry inside um, this table that's why we are getting all the related blog posts inside of our uh, view template but we are not currently specifying that the meta fields should also be fetched as well and this needs to be here inside the contain part so related to the blog posts we need to open up another array of associations in that regard and specify inside the blog posts also load the meta fields and if we now go back to our view we can now see okay now we see the cake php 4.5 release has a body meta field with this is a body text and the image meta field with here is some image meta info so basically what i'm trying to say here is whenever you are fetching data with cake php you need to specify which associated models you also want to fetch because by default if i also just remove that and we are not containing any additional associated models cake php doesn't load any additional models besides the main root model and yeah this is one major um, design decision you have to remember all the time whenever you're developing your cake php app that whenever you're thinking you're missing data or something isn't well matched up in that regard you have to make sure that whenever you're fetching the data from your model you're also telling cake php and therefore the model that you also need to fetch the associated data 
this is true for here the get id um, method but this is also the same case whenever you are dealing with um, whole queries regarding the index uh, the index action in here so if we are trying to um, if we are trying to uh, show blog posts and the meta fields inside the index table here as well we first of all have to do a little bit of cleanup here so we say query is this categories find so the find is basically creates a query for this model and then we can say contain and here we have basically the same uh, array structure as we have down here so we can specify contain the blog posts and also the meta fields inside the blog posts for this query. Then we pass that query to the paginate method uh, to basically <coughs> do the same as before. And now, well, okay, currently we are not outputting any um, anything in the index template, but if I basically just, uh, yeah, I, I won't copy paste that here now into the index template, but if I go into here and create another column here as well, um, blog posts and basically just PR the category blog posts. So PR is basically the nice cake php variant of a var dump or so in in that sense so you can see here inside of our first category we have our blog post object and inside that blog post object we also get our meta fields array where all the associated data for the meta fields is also present in here so yeah just so you know um how how to fetch and how to, um, yeah, basically deal with associated data whenever you are either dealing with a query or either when you're dealing with a single entity fetching from the ORM. Okay, but the other important question or important uh, or rather frequent question we get in side of our um, support forum is also when I just disable this here now uh, so that we can see this here again. Um, currently, as I've shown you before, the pineapple on pizza category doesn't have any related blog posts. And in certain situations, you want to generate a categories overview, which doesn't contain any categories which have no blog posts associated to them. So in, in that sense, we just want to show these two categories, cake versus pie and useful plugins, because both these have associated blog posts present. And the easiest solution provided here by CakePHP is calling a so-called matching operator on our, uh, on our query. So as well here, we can basically keep the contain here just to tell CakePHP load all the associated data, but also we have a matching um, method here that basically just wants to know, okay, which associated model needs to be matching. So just load categories, which also have at least one blog post associated and now if we reload here now we see a little bit of a weird f feature <laughs> or weird behavior because cake versus pie is now duplicate and if we look into our sql log here we can basically see okay this is the query which is being executed and we can see here that this is just two inner joints um, because this is a belongs to many association. And this just basically creates these duplicate entries because we have two associated blog posts in here. 
If we look into the documentation regarding the retrieving data results uh, sets, we can look for the matching um, section here as well, which basically also tells you the same thing wh where you can also filter more matching stuff where you can say, okay, match all the um, here blog posts which have a specific name. You can also do that. But the important part I'm referring to here now is as this function will create an inner join, you may want to consider calling distinct on the find query as you might get duplicate rows if your conditions don't exclude them already. And this is basically what we're having here right now. So we need to now also specify distinct and distinct in SQL basically you need to specify which column you want to have. Now, some of you may already know that this is not working if we're just specifying the ID, because if we now look into our error integrity constraint violation, column ID in group statement is ambiguous. Why is it ambiguous? Because, well, categories has an ID column as well as blog posts has an ID column. But what we want here is the IDs the ID column of the categories need to be distinct for our index action here in the controller. So we can specify the cake BHB model name dot column name for our distinct so that we now have exactly the result that we want to achieve. So these are just now categories which definitely have at least one blog post associated to it. And the same can be done basically in reverse. So instead of only showing categories which have a blog post, we can also show categories which have no blog posts. And this is pretty easy because we just need to call not matching blog posts. And now we get only the one which doesn't have any associated blog posts uh, inside them. Uh, just so you're also sure that the contain also works. If I go back to here and output the associated blog posts here as well, we can see again that the blog posts and the meta fields are here as well. And yeah, basically only the two um, categories are now here being out uh, being in the result because, well, they have associated data inside them. But yeah, this is basically what I wanted to show you here today because this is a rather frequent question in our support um, forum. So to reiterate, CakePHP doesn't lazy load or auto load any associations by default. You have to tell it to load associated associations um, via the contain field inside the yeah either the get or the query um, query methods and if you want to filter by these associated um, associated models so you only show a specific entities regarding their associated data you have to use matching or not matching um, in combination with distinct. Um, for all the more advanced users, you may already know that matching and not matching can also have some weird behaviors. Um, this is also kind of mentioned here as well, um, because you can also use inner join with and uh, left join with regarding of what exactly you are trying to achieve with your query. But this is basically all depending on what database schema you are currently working with and what kind of query you are actually trying to achieve. So basically any combination of either matching, not matching or inner join with, left join with, uh, any of this is basically what you're trying to do with all the queries inside CakePHP. But yeah, I hope this definitely cleared up some probably major confusions regarding how the query system works and how to fetch associated data. You know what to do and I will see you 
in the next one.